Okay, this is your widower, Prince DJ, without a second palace again. Uh, this is my second full day um, at the uh, mental health uh, health center. I call it a center because it's a lot of relaxed. Uh, it's a lot relaxed. Um, I'm not restricted, thank God. Um, and the visitors are through my phone, at least. And also you, the citizens of Big D country, are my visitors. Now, uh, I don't know how long it's going to be, but thankfully so far I don't have a roommate. I've been resting good there. Uh, been having a little bad luck with, uh, with, uh, places that have roommates. So I've had a little bad luck, sting of bad luck there. But... Uh, all in all, I did have I did have some allies, but mostly bad luck there. So, um, yeah, I'm still in a state of shock that I could lose both my income for a certain period of time and my place. So, it left me literally absolutely nothing and nothing to fend for myself. I can't work. I have limited sight. And I have a mental condition that placed me where I am right now uh, for seven days. Uh, now, to think about it, Monday we'll probably start to see where what kind of treatment that I could get uh, from severe depression. Although it's been managed with only prayer and watching a video to help me relax. Uh... Maybe I could get some more coping skills. <clears throat> maybe I could get some coping skills and maybe a little uh, talk therapy uh, while I'm here. So I could take advantage of the help that's given to me. Because there's no there, there's no telling where I'm going to be beyond the seven weeks. There's not telling that I, if, if I'm still going to be here or if I'm going to be somewhere else. I had to go temporarily go back to Houston. I don't know. I don't know. I did find a place that did cater uh, to low and um, in income and even no income, uh, New Hope Housing, but it's in Houston. And so I might have to temporarily go back there or, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to contact some housing authorities to see that now it says that now that I am homeless, uh, now that I'm homeless, to see if I could beep up the application uh, so that I could be placed and see if I could have a way to at least be in a place with a roof over my head. Okay. Uh, so, I mean, today, like I said, yesterday, the first day I came in here, and, today, and then today was just a day of rest. Tomorrow will be where, what kind of treatment I could get, uh, what kind of service that I can eat while I'm still here. Uh, so that's going to be a nerve wracking experience. And to say the least, uh, because I'm still in a state of shock. And then we still have a government shutdown. People bet down on next and Trump supported. I still can't believe Trump supported. And it's ridiculous. This is people's lives here. My life, this is an example. This is a prime example. My life is still practically in danger even after I leave here because I have no money to go anywhere. I I, I don't have money in lift, lift cash. I don't have money anywhere. Okay? A dollar is nothing. A dollar something is nothing. Absolutely nothing. Okay? A dollar something is all I have in this cash. And the dollar 19, I know what it's, the dollar 19 is all I have in, in the bank. That's it. That's all. I literally have nothing. Now, thankfully, I've been eating here, although I was filled up with breakfast, and of course I'm not a morning person or coffee drinking, but <laughs> uh, I do have three scared uh, meals a day here, thankfully. So I'll survive that way. But beyond seven days or beyond the days that I have left, no, I'll bet off. I'll bet off. 
I hope that I could be placed with new hope until, you know, I hope I could be placed with new hope, hopefully. Uh, or uh, the social worker that I am working with, I hoping that uh, we could solve this issue quickly and get me to a place where I could either uh, I could either work out my appeal. I know the first lady of Victory Country is helping me with the appeal because I don't have a place. I don't have a place where letters could come to. I still had to call the pharmacy uh, that was supposed to be delivering my medication and told them. Uh, <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, to tell them to uh, cancel the medication, or maybe I could see. If I, well, no, that's not going to work because I'm only here seven days. That's not going to work. So I have to tell them to cancel the deli delivery until I find a place, a more permanent place. And uh, so yeah, I, I I can't believe my life was placed in jeopardy like that. I thought that I was going what I was going to do after I paid my rent, I was going to give me a new phone and then get ready to uh, go to church. I was going to go to Coastal Community Church. Nope. Now that's been put on hold. I'm still heartbroken. I'm still at a loss for words that this happened. And I'm not the only one that's giving these over overpayment letters. And they told me that I'm not going to get paid until either May or April 2024, next year. Next year. I don't think I'm going to live that long. If that's the case. I can't work. I cannot work. So what do you expect me to, me to do for seven or eight months? What do you expect me to do for seven or eight months? What? Do you expect me to do for seven or eight months and I can't work? That's why I'm trying to do the uh the waiver. That's why Vice Venus started helping me up with the waiver. But but I mean the first lady, by the way, of Big D country. Um This is ridiculous. This is absolutely I'm 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 really shocked that a country could do this. I'm I'm really in shock. I'm really in shock. And then people who are supposed to help, you know, actually when you're in the place, it doesn't really help because you're paying them. And then they're not helping you. So I'm not in Galveston. I'm in Texas City. I'm not happy that I'm not back in the island. I am hurt even though even though I'm trying to get help, and uh, I'm literally at rock bottom, literally at rock bottom, and I'm not talking about the rock either. I'm literally at the bottom. Once again, the last time I was at the bottom, it was before I went into Meridian, Mississippi. That was the last time I was homeless like this. But I had income. I had income. I had food stamps. And again, in a government shutdown, there will be no food stamps in a government shutdown. They won't come on anyway. So I had no way to get food while I'm on the streets. Uh, I would have no way to get around. I can't even cross bad streets. I don't have a clue where, where to go. I mean... <laughs> This is the point where you say, what's next? I'm already begging online now that, that uh, that's the point that I had to do. So what I'm going to do after I be discharged here? What I'm going to do? I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. I'm really, I'm mean, totally disappointed. I'm totally disappointed in, in, in the American spirit right now. I am totally disappointed in our American government right now. I'm totally disappointed with both the Democrat and Republican parties right now. There needs to be a third party. 
there definitely need to be an emergent third party that truly cares about the people. And that truly cares about the people. Right now, the Republicans all care about is beefing up the military. Of course, we got to defend against World War Three. Of course, I see that. But then not wanting to help out its own citizens. We vote you into office. Remember that. We vote you into office. We voted you into that power. And when you abuse that very same power that we give you, and you play with our lives, that's not right. That's not right. When you don't have somebody, when you don't help somebody whose rent or mortgage or car payment has gone up through no fault of their own. And people who got letters just like me, and this was honest to tell their landlords, and then get kicked out unceremoniously with nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. You do that, that is not Christian. That is not Christian life. That is no way Christian life to do that. We are no longer a Christian nation. This country is going to hell in a handbasket. We truly need a leader who cares for our people. We truly need a leader who can say America is a God-fearing country again. But right now, this isn't it. We got woke culture. We got LGBTQ, whatever alphabet is trying to rule the, na- rule the nation. We got inflation creeping up and making victims of everyone. It's just not right. It's literally just not right. The hammer is dropping on everybody, whether it's a wrestler, whether it's a cook, whether it's a janitor, whether it's a teacher, whether it's a lawyer. The axe is dropping on everybody. 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 And no one is ready. We are not allowed to have savings because in Social Security, you are only allowed to have $2,000 in a bank. And it is always suggested to have three to six months of savings. How the hell are you going to have three to six months worth of savings when you're only allowed $2,000? And especially in emergency when you hit rock bottom. How the hell is that going to happen? How is that going to change anything? We have old people running this country. You got a president who's falling, tripping off of airplane steps. You have a president tripping on a graduation. You have somebody who's freezing up twice. Freezing up twice, scaring people half to death. Scaring people half to death. And Nancy Pelosi wanted to run for election against these close to 80-something years old. 80-something freaking years old. I'm scarred for life. It's bad enough I was scarred when my life, late wife got passed away. And then my friend wound up passed away. That was the year that I had COVID. Then my mentor. Well, let's just say, then COVID, I was way out of order. Then COVID. Then my mentor passed right before I was supposed to speak at PodFest. Uh, PodFest. And now, this. Even before I had to move to Texas because I wasn't going to renew my lease because of all the crap that's happened in St. Louis. I mean, this is not right. This is not right. I am here because I almost literally had a nervous breakdown. I am still hurt. I am still literally hurt that a country could do this. What happened to the American drive? What happened to the American spirit? Is it there? I don't think so. Is it there? 
what happened to the people with, with, with tragedy struck? People usually help. People help in 9 11. People helped in Katrina. People helping other disasters and situations. There's even people helped in COVID. But where is it now? It's just like it's back to you doing stuff, back to you doing stuff, as anything else. Back to the doggy dog world. Huh? Is it sad as it is? It's back to every person for himself. This is not America. This is not America. I repeat, this is not America. Can somebody please tell me where is America? Somebody please tell me where is America? We need a third party system. We need a true America. Please. Please. For the love of God, we need America. Please. I don't want to die in this situation. Please. Please, we need America back. Please. 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 